Jimmy, nice to meet you. Uh, uh, thanks for coming on here and, and, and doing the podcast with with me. Uh, yeah, just want to get to know you a little bit more. I, I follow you on Instagram. I, I believe I also we're, we're in similar Facebook groups. I think that might be how we first got connected. Um, and yeah, I just want to, to get to know you a little bit more. I know you're uh, from the Isle of Man, I believe. Originally, originally from England, but I moved over here last, last year. Very cool. Uh, so it, it, it's at a... Uh, uh, more of a photogenic island from your excursion so far? I mean, I, I moved over to, to live with my girlfriend. Um, but yeah, it is, it is a lot more like sort of photogenic as a place. Yeah, it, it looks beautiful from the from the photos you, you've taken so far. So a uh, really cool spot. Um, yeah, uh, I think I just wanted to get to know you. So what, what is your background? Did you, did you study photography? Did you grow up always being an artist? Like where, where did you first pick up a camera? So I actually only started photography um, almost a year ago now, um, but it kind of comes from I did study uh, like media production at, at university, uh, so I, I have a degree in that. Never really did anything with it. Kind of just got stuck in uh, kind of dead end jobs, um, and it sort of lost my passion for doing video work. And um, then last year I kind of got inspired to get a camera, um, just see where it went, and then. It's actually kind of brought back my interest in video work as well, because um, I'm planning on using that uh, kind of using my photography as a as a way of doing more video work. So, is that uh, your your full time venture right now? Is in in video production? No, I I, I mean I work um, I work part time just in retail, but um, like pretty much in my spare time, I'm starting to I I've not really had any work from photography yet, but um, I'm planning on starting a YouTube channel with uh, sort of POV style uh, photography stuff. Um, it's kind of similar to like what um, street photographers do, but since there's not much of that over here, I'm going to kind of just use it for what I do, which is going out and doing landscape stuff, and then maybe some street stuff as well when I can get over to e- England, uh, where there's sort of cities I can go around and do that style. Ah, that's awesome. Uh, so I, I guess uh, what would your niche be or would your favorite type of photography be landscape and, and nature type of stuff like that then? Mostly, yeah, but that's... I'd say mostly because that's sort of what's in front of me over here. Um, I've I've kind of spent the last year just trying all, all different kinds. Um, so like I've done a little bit of astrophotography. I've done a little bit of portrait. Um, tried kind of products stuff. Kind of just building a portfolio really um, to kind of figure out what my style is um, before I kind of go out there and try and get work in, in photography. Nice. So when do you remember kind of like the story of when you got your first camera? Do you, do you remember... Uh, what it was like what model so my first like like sort of photography camera uh, is this the one i have now it's a sony a6100 um kind of just picked it after doing a fair bit of research um i found one that would be good for bits of photography and video vide- videography um before that i had a um black magic cinema camera that was just for video um that was when i was kind of trying to go freelance um a few years ago after I'd finished my university university degree. Um, and that kind of never really took off. Um, as I said, kind of lost interest in it, but uh, then found photography again. In the, uh, you mean in the freelance side of things, you, you lost interest in it? I mean, just in general, like I stopped doing any sort of video stuff um, for a good few years. Um, like I said, just being in sort of dead end jobs kind of took the, took the passion away from, from me. Gotcha. Yeah, that, that it's it's a more of a drag from the from the people I've talking spoken to and uh, who are in that kind of dual world. It, it it does it's a tremendous amount of work and and, and takes up a lot of time. Um, yeah, so I, I I've come across your your social media. Uh, one of a couple of the pictures that you that you posted recently more more like wildlife and, and nature type stuff. Um, but I found one uh, actually a series uh, from back in April, I believe. Uh, of like the the Milky Way of, of like an astrophotography type of type of thing, and I love that stuff. I know a lot of people are really into uh, astrophotography. Do, do you, uh, was there any kind of special uh, process you had around that and going about it? Like, where was your headspace at? Probably, I'd say it's probably like one of my favorite experiences as a photographer. Uh, it's, it's like there's still the only time I've done astro stuff, like uh, shooting the Milky Way so far. But I'm going to go out and do some more because I loved it. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. Kind of just uh, had to stay up really late, headed out about four in the morning, drove out to 
um, just like a spot on the island where there's no light pollution whatsoever. Um, and then I saw there was this, uh, I actually saw it in someone else's photo, uh, a lighthouse um, that's kind of just in the middle of nowhere, but the light's still on and it flashes like every 15 seconds or so. So I knew that if I, I did some uh, like astrophotography with that in the shot, it looked pretty cool with the light from the lighthouse as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the, the story behind that. Um, it's something I want to go out and do more of though. Yeah, definitely. I think like, uh, astrophotography is, is something that I've always personally been into, and and I know I've I've spoken to a couple of people that have done it, and I know the process is very uh, uh very interesting. I know it's a lot of editing as well in, in the in the aftermath, but um, yeah, that's that's some really cool stuff. I, I've never really done it myself, but I, I always appreciate when people uh, post those types of images. Uh, but yeah, how about any any projects you got going on now? You you working on anything special? You just kind of touring around the island a little bit? The with kind of my um, photography side of things, slowed down a bit in the last couple of weeks, but that's because I've kind of, um, I've been, as I said, I've been planning on starting a YouTube channel. Um, so I've been waiting for some equipment to arrive um, so I can do that. Um, I actually plan on going, doing my first video tomorrow. Um, basically just one of my, I'm, I'm kind of, the idea is I'm just going to kind of showcase different photography spots on the island um so i'm gonna go to like one of the first spots i went to uh tomorrow kind of just get some pov stuff um and then film some nice shots as well for like kind of an intro and outro and that kind of thing oh that's that's sweet i, I know a bunch of uh photographers have been going on uh moving over to the shift of of like youtube type of series as well to to gain exposures all right are you comfortable in front of the camera i know some photographers are they like being behind the camera and that's why they like photography better i mean honestly like i've i've never been very confident on camera but i i think it's like something i want to get more confident with um i think the like that's why i'm starting off with the pov kind of stuff because i'm still behind the camera and then people are just seeing what my camera's seeing um and i guess i'll kind of move over to when i get a bit more confident kind of doing stuff where uh maybe i'm just sat at my desk and talking through like people through my edit process um talking through different styles and that kind of thing um basically just similar stuff to what the, the youtubers i watch do yeah for sure is there anybody you want to kind of shout out of it any inspiration they think of um the main ones like more recently i've been watching uh, a channel called optical wonder uh, he kind of does a lot of uh pov street stuff around london um, that's kind of where I got the inspiration to start doing POV, uh, POV videos. Um, and then, like before that, uh, probably like Pete McKinnon, uh, Evan Ramps, those kind of people who kind of are more vloggers at this point. Um, but I, I don't know, like just watching their videos and seeing how they do things um, is something I do quite a lot. Yeah, I think there's a. Uh... There's a huge process in that, and, and I think uh, I like the idea of having that YouTube channel as well and, and, and going out and creating videos because it adds that other layer of element that maybe a lot of people, especially in like beginner groups and amateur groups, they don't fully see the, the whole process and, and people who uh, get to show that side of things on, on their YouTube channel. So I think that's definitely something special, and I think uh, I'm definitely going to subscribe once you, once you link it up. appreciate that. <laughs> um, I mean, that's mostly how I learned to start with was just watching YouTube tutorials. So whenever I knew there was an idea I wanted to go out and do, I just watched the tutorial, try and replicate the settings and see see how it turned out, and then just kind of adjust my settings from there. And that was that's the best way to learn is just watching YouTube stuff because um, you can, I don't know, you get someone talking you through it and you've got the visuals. So yeah, definitely, and I, I think that is kind of a good segue because one of the questions I like to ask people, uh, especially around the the idea of like helping out amateurs and beginners, is do you is there a piece of advice along the way that you came came across you know if you had to if you could talk to yourself you know 10 years ago and, and tell you tell yourself like one bit of advice in in the photography world what, what would it be best thing you can do is just get out there and start taking photos um and then kind of from there just learn take the photos come back and look at look at how they turn out if you're not happy then go and like figure out the reason you're not happy with them and learn from it um, I think very much like a, with photography, it's very much a thing you just learn as you're out there. Um, there's only so much you can learn from, you know, tutorials and people giving you advice because not everybody, uh, not everybody works in the same way with photography as well. 
So like, even if someone tells you their exact process, you might not be able to follow that the same. You might have your own way of doing it. So I think that's, that's the reason you kind of just got to get out there and start, start taking photos. Yeah. It's a really good bit of advice too. Cause I think a lot of times, uh, you know, you can receive as much advice as possible, and then if you can't execute on that, uh, it, yeah, it's, it's something different. Or, you know, it, it, in, especially photography is an art, so, you know, the, the whole thing is around being subjective and, and you're creating your own perspective. So I think, you know, copying someone's uh, style isn't necessarily creating your own, um, or as opposed to creating your own, rather. I think that that is powerful, and, and especially as a beginner, if that's, that's something I would definitely tell myself at least, uh, is to, to continue going out there creating and just trying new styles, trying new edit things um, and things like that. So I think that's that's great. Uh, just, yeah, kind of last question wrapping up here. Um, uh, you know, I know you said that your YouTube channel is going to focus on kind of like some, some favorite locations. Are there any ones that you you like to uh, go to regularly or any any that kind of catch your mind? So like the one I'm going to do, uh, do a video on tomorrow um, is just Douglas Head. It's kind of like a it kind of just overlooks the town that I live in. Um, and it has like a few kind of landmarks that, that are nice for shots. Um, so that's like one of my favorite sh like places. Um, but I'm still like, I've lived here less than a year, so I'm still learning a lot of the island. And there's still parts that I've not seen. Um, so like they're there, um, they're, there's kind of the mountain, like there's only, there's one mountain on the island, um, but that's a really nice spot for shots. Um, they're probably like the main ones. Um, but generally, I like there's a lot of like light lighthouses and kind of those those sort of structures. And I I like to sort of make always like to have like a focal point in a lot of my shots and things like that make for good focal points. Um, but I'm looking forward to getting over back over to to England and doing some photography there. I'm going over in a couple of weeks um, back to uh, like the, the city I was born in. Um, so I'm gonna. Stuff, like try and do some street photography for the first time there um see how that goes um but there's yeah there's, there's a lot of places i want to want to want to go to there's a very small island so you are kind of limited with what you've got over here to to take photos of um so you do have to be quite creative at times over here um so because of that i'm kind of looking forward to being able to get out get out and about and get off the island and go take photos elsewhere have you had the luxury of being able to travel outside of england at all or other than other than current island now been away quite a few times but never not since i've kind of been really into photography so okay. that's another thing i'm looking forward to doing um I'm, I'm actually over in america at some point this year once sort of covid restrictions have lifted um so i'm going to bring my camera over um hopefully get some nice shots there um and then kind of there's some places in Europe that I've been before, but I would now like to go back to now that I'm into photography, um, just so I can kind of go there for for those purposes. That sounds awesome, and uh, for sure, when when you're over here in the states, uh, uh, we'll stay in touch, and maybe we'll link up or something. Um, but yeah, um, great, thank you, Jimmy. I appreciate it. Is there any? Uh, uh, do you have a website? Do you have uh, social that that you want to social media that you want to shout out and, and let people know how to how to reach you? Yeah, it's just. Um, jimmy p media on instagram uh i will be getting on other social channels soon uh but a, that's the main one right now for posting my work um my name on youtube youtube will pretty much be the same when i make the, the channel so awesome so you guys heard it jimmy p media thank you jimmy i appreciate it uh take care and enjoy the rest of your night you too good to meet you